refrigeration issues at a local arena as hockey season approaches. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The City of Thunder Bay says Delaney Arena won't be able to operate at full capacity this year. The arena's refrigeration system is experiencing failures that can't be fixed before hockey season begins. Joel Mendelson joins us live in studio and Joel, what exactly is the problem here? Well, Riley, there are a couple issues at play. Primarily, the brine lines are failing. However, that's likely because of the larger issue, which is that the floor dates back to when the arena was first built in 1967. The three main changes that will be apparent to user groups are reduced hours at Delaney this winter, no ice time for participants over 13 years old, and minimizing the number of tournaments hosted by the arena. There have been many issues with the floor and refrigeration system at the Delaney Arena for the past couple of years, including an emergency shutdown in November of 2022. Arena staff have made several temporary fixes to the infrastructure, but now it seems these fixes may no longer be sufficient. During last season, we had uh, some issues with the, with the floor and the, uh, the refrigeration system here at Delaney. Um, and in the course of uh, doing the repairs this summer, it ended up being much worse than, than what we anticipated. And then we had an engineer study uh, done and they indicated that we would need to modify operations for this coming season. Uh, it was determined that the brine lines are indeed failing and that they, will, they only have a limited amount of life left. And so in order to mitigate the stress on the brine lines and the system, we're reducing the overall load on the system for this season with the plan to replace completely the floor system in 2025. Along with the new floor, the boards will also need to be replaced as they are embedded within it. There is a tentative design in place for the renovations, which are expected to cost approximately $2 million. This would need to be approved in the city's budget. We could bring it to council sooner, uh, but it doesn't improve our timeline any. So it can still fit within the budget season. Uh, so it can be debated at the same time as other budget items. If City Council approves the required renovations, then Delaney Arena should be back and fully operational by next September. Joel Mendelson, TBT News.